Okay. Let's, uh, get going. Hello, Crystal. Does game have sound? Game has sound. Make sure to check our other audio. Can't be open either. Anything else I need to do? I don't think so. How are y'all today? Well, aside from, again, usual ISP shenanigans kind of pissing me off, we are good. It's going to be a little blurry today. <laughs> but better that than it um, crapping its pants every two seconds. Oh, we're going to actually watch the intro this time. Characters and monsters designed by Akira Toriyama. Uichi Sugiyama. That's still very loud. <laughs> oh no, you're right, it probably is. I didn't turn off desktop. Hello, Grotto. I think it looks better on your guys' end than it does for me. We're turning this down further after this intro is over. of the starry skies. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, guys, we better configure our Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Better do it. Okay. I still don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll do Destal this time. Why not? Boop, boop. Tear? Sure. Wi-Fi connection, nerd. <laughs> yeah, somebody go up to my ISP and tell them to get their con IS their connection in check, because good God. <laughs> Crimson Gunner, hello. God, hello? Is anybody there? far-off dream that's like a scattered memory. A scattered memory that's like a far-off dream. I mean, what? If you're there, say something. Show yourself. Thus do the voices of the mortals plead, ever hopeful for proof of our existence. For how long now have we watched over their realm? For how long have we Celestrians existed? Well, depending on where version 7 goes. <laughs> we'll have an answer for that in this world. <laughs> God. So much empty space is bothering me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the announcer just 
So we are getting two. We're not going to find out what that second one is till much into version seven. You've come far, Destiny. Yep. I must confess uh, to having my had my doubts when you became guardian of the village in my stead. But its inhabitants' continued peace and safety is proof of your devotion. When Apus Major bade me, Aquila, take Destal as your apprentice, I never imagined I would see you bloom so. You are worthy of your title indeed, Destal, guardian of Angel Falls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, oh, don't ever get old, my dear Aaron. You don't ever want to get old. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, I'll die young. It's not much further now. I'm sure you'll make it. Oh, it's so funny looking. <laughs> gonna break your stick, dude, dude, friggin... These wicked creatures must not be allowed to ambush innocent members of your flock, Destal. Come, Guardian of Angel Falls. It is time to fulfill our duty as Celestrians. It's even funnier when you compare the Celestrians of 9 to 10, because fulfill our duty in protecting the mortal realm, whereas in 10, it's kinda, huh, you did a thing? Yeah, not my problem. <laughs> Okay, fight. I don't have any spells. Yep. It is... Abilities? Yep. <laughs> no damage. Ew, hold on. Do I have... Just a sec. Was this the one that had a... Uh... A filter over it that looks really gross? Or was that the other? Was that melon? Enable edge marking. Ah. Oh, it's like a pixel filter. Ignore like this is y'all's problem, even when most of it started as their problem. Yeah. One damage. Gosh, I I can't tell if that's just the font or if it's a gross. Yeah, because that looks normal. <laughs> the enemies are defeated. Experience. Thirteen gold. Seriously, we're down to not even in the thousand kilobytes. ISP, the hell are you doing? I try to schedule something fun and my internet decides to shit its pants. See, Grandpa, these are Angel Falls up ahead. Oh, I honestly believed I'd never set my tile road eyes on this place again. But here we are at last. Home. Oh, don't be so melodramatic, Grandpa. The village guardian will have been watching over us all the way. Nothing bad could have happened to us. <laughs> the face of you have no idea. Benevolent Destal, thank you so much for protecting our journey. How do they know our names if we never show ourselves? Behold, Destal, benevolence. The crystallization of the mortal's gratitude towards we who watch over them. As Celestrians, our cardinal duty is to offer is offering up this sacred substance unto the mighty Yggdrasil, the great world tree. Come, let us return to the observatory so that you may make your offering. Man, I, he loves to be dramatic with his wings. a DS game, so they use the two screens in the storytelling. I vaguely remember 
the bottom screen being used in the uh, the title card in a bit here. Hello, Dequack. How blurry is stream, by the way, gang? Is it super bad? <laughs> My ISP is crapping its pants, but at least we're not losing frames. Good. I mean, luckily, we're also playing a DS game, so, like, we can mask it a little bit, but... <laughs> Oh, gosh. I'm so used to the orchestrated one. Uh. Okay. The first task of a guardian must perform upon re-entering the pro protectorate is to report to Apis Major. Are you getting rebirth? I am, just not at launch, because money things happened. As unchallenging as the North Star, you shall find him in the Great Hall, unchanging. I have other matters to attend to. You must excuse me. My joystick doesn't work, but oh god, that's okay. Can I use my mouse on the touchscreen? I cannot. Isn't bad. I don't like the first instrument they used. Everything else is fantastic. Welcome home, Destel. You return to us from the Protectorate, I take it? Then you must go and report to Apis Major. Fun fact. Angel Falls is largely inspired by Salto Angel from Venezuela, my country. That's cool! I gave up on using a joystick for DS games. I just used the D-pad. I mean, that's all it had. I just find it funny. I didn't read this guy's text. Let me descend to begin with. No, I didn't want to talk to you! Leave me alone! Uh, oh god. Oh, did you, there's that watching it swap in real time. I forget if you can run. And my buttons are a little bit messed up. Air punch. <clears throat> this door is locked. This door is also locked. You gotta talk to the guy before you go exploring. I can double bind to whichever feels much better. Yeah. Oh, well, I want someone authentic. Destel, the truth is that the mortals can't see us Celestrians? Yes. So they can't see us even if we stand right before their eyes? What feeble beings. See, that's another difference in 10, because they can see you no problem. That's why they can't go down to below. Melon, my beloved. Ugh, I don't want to configure another emulator. There's pros and cons to both. Hard to drive off monsters, perform other services. I am in charge of protecting as a guardian. But they offer up not the slightest thanks. Is there really any need to watch over these ungrateful mortals? I have my doubts. Huh? Potentially another difference, because that gratitude is what char t t powers all of Forion. Hello, Meg! What am I doing? Going up and talking to a guy? Uh, let's go. Yep. Mortals pass away at the slightest hint of sickness or injury, and are weak of spirit. I thank the Almighty I was born a Celestrian. To be born mortal would be truly sorrowful fate. No, okay, you guys are still assholes. <laughs> Base 9 or the rebalance? I didn't even know there was an optional for that. Yeah, the gratitude power stuff here where the solicitors are just kind of assholes. Yeah, and then you have like 10, which Krutos found that if you import that gratitude into an object, it's more powerful, and I kind of love that. There's a book called The Creation of the World. In the beginning, the Almighty created mortal kind. Later came the Celestrians. Their long lifespan, their graceful wings, and halos above their heads all bear testament to their vast superiority complex. The Celestrians are a gift from the Almighty bestowed upon weak, foolish mortals in order to guide and protect them. And already, there's more contradictions that would make it not connected to 10 directly. Where do y'all get this? I don't get it. Okay, we might start over on Melon just so I can get rid of this gross pixel melting filter. My lord! 
Look at it. Look how gross it is. Look at him. Look at uh, look at that man. Look how melty he is. <laughs> Great for your party. I have not. Uh, okay, where's Melon? We'll just mash through the text because I it's making me sick. I don't know why that happens. Uh. <laughs> All right, is there a way to set this up the way I did the other one? Dude, weak race doesn't seem to me. I'd be pissed too. Does it look like that? No. There is no way to set it up like I had it on the other one. Ugh. Mm, well, now we have to start over anyway. I didn't save the game. <laughs> Emulation settings. Enable game hacks, enable advanced bus level timing, CPU dynamic. Is it the texture scaling, maybe? Yeah, because, like, the three... The, uh, I'm so used to not pixel, like... I'm hoping the 3D model resolution and the textures are two different things. <laughs> yeah, they, they are. Okay, thank God. <laughs> That's probably what it was then. That looks so much better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Play from Dragon Quest 9 and pretend that you're playing at Gaslight Stream. Yo. Have your entire live, which is normal. Uh, normal. Demo grab 75 bare assets. Yeah. What? What? How am I doing that? Apparently, there's a hotkey for that. I can't skip this, can I? Is there a fast forward button? Can I frame advance? Damn it. <laughs> Dude, tap should be default. Oh, it is. I can see it. It's just small. Run, kid. I'm used to the GameCube's on Dolphin. Could you imagine DQ9 crowd control? Where, like, your chat can control the other party members? <laughs> Hell, that might actually be a fun way to do this as well. Where, uh, have you, you guys ever seen, like, freaking Salty DK Dan's friend lock thing? You could do something similar where you're in call with a bunch of people, and they, uh, one can help you do dumb voices and also make the decisions of the other characters. That might be fun. Oh! <laughs> dead. Hello, Hyper Dark. Pretty good. You know what? I didn't find out till recently that DQ9 lags in battles on the 3DS for some reason, which is weird. All right, let's get back to the uh, the observatory. So then we can actually see if that fixed the uh, the issue I was having. Probably do it with three instead because it's uh, just a harder game. Yeah. There are no skippable cutscenes. It's a completely different song when you speed it up. Oh, that looks so much better. Woo! 
They are melting. I played on MU, so I thought it was MU versus original hardware thing. Yeah. All right, so apparently there is a hot swap. I can do this and swap my screens, which is what did I do? Really nice. Oh, hold on. I'm like, I'm having some weird emulation quirks. Surely it's not. <laughs> okay. Did that affect the text properly too? Let's go read that book again. better. about. I got it from Dragon Quest art book of Akira Toriyama's art, which makes me wonder if they have a second art volume for Dragon Quest XI and beyond. So I'm sure Dragon Quest XI has an art book. I have not seen it. I do own all of the DQ10 art books. And yeah, the, uh, the, uh, the Nadravians and stuff. Interesting thought process. I will be upset if we don't get, uh, Draconic Warlock from a version 3 map. Greetings, Destel. You must be excited. <laughs> you must have exited through the wrong door. There's nothing interesting out here. You should go back inside. No, but there's a stellar view. Mortals are self-serving beings. To charge we Celestrians with the protection of such a race was a great burden to the Almighty to place in our kind. Wow. You realize you were made after them, according to your own world lore book on the shelf over there, yes? Greetings, Destel. You have been to the realm beneath, have you not? As I am sure you are well aware, mortals are unable to see we Celestrians. Nonetheless, there are still many among them who believe in our existence. How can this be? I don't know. Do you need to see the winds to believe in it? Max Destor, apprentice of Aquila. I get a special camera angle, so you know I'm important. Welcome, oh, and a model. Isn't it neat? Do you like my beard? Welcome back, Destor. I trust your absence has been, has not been so lengthy that you'll forget your old master, Apex, Apex Major. My congratulations on successfully completing your first task as Guardian, Destor. Anybody know what his Japanese name is? I'm curious. You have performed your duties well, thus far, albeit under Aquila's watchful gaze. But the time has come for you to spread your own wings. What say you? Are you ready to undertake your duties? When I do runs, I only hear the full, I, I only hear the full version of the song twice, ew. I see you are confident in your, uh, confident apprentice, Destiny. Very good. The young have confidence where the old have experience. And so we come to you the next of your duties. I believe you have acquired a crystal of benevolence, have you not? The essence of mortal gratitude. You must offer it unto the great world tree. I can read one of those characters. <laughs> The great world tree Yggdrasil, who shelters us with her nurturing brows from atop the observatory. She will soon bear fruit at last, and it will cause a great plot for this video game. I mean, what? Now go, and do as you've instructed. Oh, Mui? Alright. Because I know there's a character that its Japanese name in here is Grand Zenith. Not to be mistaken with Grand Zenith from DQ10. 
And that's the one I'm most interested in when we get back to that. I was surprised to hear of Destel's promotion. I did not expect you to permit it so soon. You assume too much, Columba. I also believe it is too soon for her to take on a guardianship. It was Apis Major's decision. Indeed, how amusing. I might have known. It's no laughing matter. Destel is but a fledgling. What if something were to happen in the, uh, protectorate? Did you forget the tragedy of Corvus so soon? No, of course not, but... We have been forbidden to talk about that matter here in the observatory, have we not? And if it's reasons like that that things go horribly wrong. Destel, uh, how long have you been standing there? Long enough to hear you talk shit? Decade that way? Uh, no, I'm just in a hurry and dumb. <laughs> of particular interest. There don't seem to be any books of particular interest. Ma'am, thank you. So the volume is about history of the observatory and the protectorate. There don't seem to be any books. Y'all are boring, apparently. Where's my lore books? Register of Guardians. Destel takes it out from the shelf and has a closer look. Destel continued the guardianship of Angel Falls in the place of her master Aquila. Aquila requested his guardianship of the mortals be terminated. Current location unknown. He's behind me, by the way. Columba works in the library, managing records of the observatory and the world history. Okay. How, wait, how did I spell it? Nostalgia time? Yep, a bit. Hello, Mantaphors. Welcome in. Why do you stand idle, Destin? You have made your report to Apis Major, then you are aware of your next duty. Go to the mighty Yggdrasil and offer unto her the benevolence you have gathered. Or I can continue to derp around the observatory and get treasure chests. I'm not supposed to be back here. Yes. I'm afraid I cannot allow it. It is against the rules. But I can tell you one thing recorded therein. Your teacher Aquila is a truly remarkable guardian. The second best since records began, in fact. You must follow your teacher's example and collect much malevolence. Oh, decade? Ah, oh, did I typo an E over an, an, rather than an A of an E? Uh -huh. Oh well. The Celestrons lived for many years, but Apis Major is by far the longest lived of all of us. He is truly an elder. The more you know, dot gif. I mean, it was more so I just typoed. Master remake. I'm still not sure what form that would take. Cause I'll, uh, it's an unpopular opinion, but the replaying DQ9 after spending so much time at 10 kind of feels like a downgrade sometimes. The repository contains the greatest treasures of the observatory. They were gift bestowed upon us by the Almighty himself when our realm was created. I just wanted to let you know. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. I would not have seen it otherwise. And I didn't think twice, because Twitch decided not to give me the you spelled that wrong red line. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a chest back here on one of these, yes? I think I remember that much. Observatory floats high above the Protectorate. Just as the mortals cannot see the Celestrians, our dwelling place goes unnoticed. For the great news? Were you here? What's the great news? 
great news. Ah, a file of holy water. Nine was the only one I played. When I found out we'd get 11, I was hyped first. And then I found out how different nine actually was from the rest. Yeah, let's see, it's closer to games like three. How do I get you? I gotta go all the way down and then back around. Oh, oh yeah, that. Yeah, you were telling us you were holding your niece. That's so exciting, dude. Waker Robin. Close to my heart is that item. You need it to get Battlemaster in 10. <laughs> Sir, I would like to go up these stairs. Appus Major has sent you to offer benevolence unto mighty Yggdrasil, then you may pass. I have a beard, but you can barely tell with the pixels. What are you doing up here? So you go to offer to the benevolence gathered in the realm beneath to the mighty Yggdrasil. Figbloom hails the opening of the heavenly gates and sets the Celestrians on the path to salvation. In other words, we will soon be relieved of our duties here and return to our true place in the realm of the Almighty. Uncle Groovy. <laughs> and I'm all about it. Nice. I forget. Can I go in these doors? Yeah, I can. You see before you the roots of the mighty Yggdrasil. To offer up benevolence, you must venture outside and climb the foot of the great world tree. Why is why a dedicated menu button for that? up to Yggdrasil? Yes. Unto whom we offer the benevolence we gather. Not truly beautiful? Gathering and offering up benevolence is the most sacred duty of which we guardians are charged. Which makes it all the funnier when you consider that it's a job in ten. I trust you will perform your duties well, Destel, guardian of Angel Falls. Thinking Destel, Guardian of Angel Falls. Yes, I must pronounce your title in its entirety every time. It is the duty of Celestrians to show respect. To address you as Guardian of Angel Falls is both convoluted and inconvenient. <laughs> I will henceforth allow me to use this form to address only when formally dictates I take it. Yeah. Good. It is well that you succumb to my recommendation so readily, my pupil. As you are aware, the law forbids a Celestrian to oppose a superior, but if I have that title now, are you still my superior, or more of just a senpai? Now, go to Aqua Major and tell him Aquas. I keep saying Aqua. Opus Major, and tell him the successful completion of your task. That way, shit can hit the fan, and the game can truly begin.
really? Of the full title thing? Well done, Nestor. And how did Almighty Ingersoll appear to you? She was fiercely aglow. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, it seems like the time may be soon upon us. As I am sure you are aware, it is we Celestrians' duty to tend Almighty Ingersoll until such time as she bears fruit. It is to this end that guardians watch over mortal kind and gather benevolence. And now, Destel, guardian of ancient forms, I believe you know what you must do next. You are to return to the Protectory and continue to gather benevolence, this time without Aquila to accompany you. Make ready, and then speak to the female Celestrian who stands guard over the great portal of the floor below. May all the bodies of heaven watch over you, Destiny, guardian of ancient falls. Not disobeying. Oh. Oh, that I can break. I know there's one. Where is it? I will find it. Ah! So I wonder if the Celestrians exist in Eleven's world as well since it was the beginning. Uh, that depends on if Eleven's world is tied to the events of the others and how far the multi-world thing actually goes. Are forbidden to stand against our superiors. Aquila is your teacher, is he not? I pity you. He is unrelentingly strict. Because we know 11, 1, 2, and 3 all share the same world, and potentially with 8, but then again, 8, in 8, Imperia directly states she traveled from another world to get to this one. Through the tackles, it is. <sighs> That's true. But that's still you entering other worlds. So the way I kind of, the best way to describe it is almost like a Zelda Link Between Worlds or a Kingdom Hearts world. If you know how to get between them, you can, but they are not, their histories and stuff don't always align and aren't directly part of the same space. And the tackles are weird too. That is a whole other can of worms. Uh, if ha what we understand the world of Ten to be, the world of Estoltia, God, we're going to be doing this a lot over the course of this game, I can feel it. Uh, what we understand Ten to be is there's a world that was simply referred to as the Cradle that existed and was attacked by the Daikut. And effectively, we don't know if it was completely destroyed or because they just use, they say consumed. They never, uh, actually, you know, now that we have that translated, I need to go back and read that again. But, while that world was being attacked, Luciana fled after being given the power of creation, and she created Astoltia and the shield of Astoltia, which hid its world from invading forces outside of very, very peculiar means. Jaganuba found his way into the world during its creation, all a lion, the witch, and the war sorcerer's apprentice. Magician's Nephew, that's what it's called. But based on the trailers for version 7, it's very likely that wherever the world of Zaniath is, or what that world is, I think it's all but confirmed it's the world of DQ9. And we see a different goddess that is not the one from 9 in its trailers. So, but 10 also has texts that possibly refer to things that happened in 9, but also contradicts that at the same time. Can world histories overlap? Is the question, can things happen in other worlds as they blow through that space? And it's just interesting to think about. And if it's optional side content? <sighs> That's the real question too, because the Tockles are directly involved with Act 3. And whether or not you like Act 3 of Dragon Quest XI, 
that is the game's canonical ending. Here's home to us apprentices. Damn, you don't even have a bed. You know this Destel. Go out here until it's recently used. It did. It's difficult gauge Destel. It's not that I find him frightening. He always looks as if as if he has some great weight on his mind. Because yeah, the biggest problem with Tickington is is 100% the tackles. Because the tackles. Serenica and all of that that happens in Act 3. But you have to do tick you don't have to do Tickington. Uh, that's fair, but like we know things it's hard because it depends on each game. In Dragon Quest 10, like seasonal events and things like that, some of them are canon and some of them are not. But then you have stuff like the Breaking World quest in version 5, which was the first time we saw Celestrians in DQX, and we know that side quest is canon, because you can meet Fabiel in Forion, and he directly comments on it if you did the side quest. Furthermore, Fabiel was instructed to look for you in that side quest by Eliza, who is your guardian Celestrian, and he works directly under her. <laughs> door with the salt. In the middle south, there's a door with a chest. Middle floor. From the middle, we go south, there's a door with a chest. It's, it's a giant mess. <laughs> uh, ooh. That is... I'm getting my buttons mixed up. I'm getting my buttons mixed up. Hold on to this. Do I lose this when I uh, inevitably lose this glass? <laughs> I'll just hold on to it. Stop doing mighty more power. Oh, okay, I've never seen its Japanese name or its other name, but I think you do. Buttons mixed up. Sounds like a waggle issue. Well, like I technically made X X and Y Y, but because of that, my muscle memory is fighting me. <laughs> Here, it will apply to your character's minstrel. Good. What was the tangent I was on? It was DQ10 stuff and its relation to DQ9. But yes, as far as the theories currently go, the world of nine was likely created by either this other goddess or they say the Almighty, and I'm pretty sure the Almighty in this one is the one that uh, has his name in Japanese as just Grand Zenith. And that's where the biggest confusion comes in because Grand Zenith is the human god in Astoltia, who was created by Luciana in Ten's lore, so it cannot be the same person. Destal, I wish to descend to the Protectorate, I take it. This 3DS games, I use PS5 controller to set buttons like a Nintendo. Normally I would too. But just so I don't get mixed up when it tells me to push X or whatever, since I'm using the Xbox controller, and they have all the same button names, I figured it wouldn't cause too much of an issue. All classes are not permanent to the character, and are, and are not permanent to the character. So if you use a seed while on a priest, it will not apply when swapped to a warrior. Luciana followed the Celestrian tradition of naming people after those who have passed. And that's not necessarily a tradition, because a lot of... Uh, because those are still, in 10 at least, the same person in the Celestrian reincarnation cycle. So it's more so just giving them an adaptation or a memory of their old name. Lurk. Also, I'm having Xbox in the Yeah. Actually, I think Nintendo had one of the best ideas where they started just showing the four buttons and highlighting which one, so you don't even have to think about what the button is called. The Destil, the time has finally come for you to descend into the Protectorate alone. Good luck, Guardian. May the assistance you bestow upon the mortals of Angel Falls give rise to the galaxies of benevolence. Thanks, Bob. Ah. Yeah, it's not quite a one-to-one -one layout. Actually, you know what? Hang on this text box. We're gonna do it. We're gonna look at it. <laughs> Hi, Cooper. Do you want to be on stream? You want to be on stream? Oh. Fat hot dog. Why? Yeah.
made the other dog jealous enough. Ugh. Yep, she's on the little island in between the bridge. <laughs> Can we see the other bridge? We cannot. There's the statue. Do you see it? The other bridge is busted. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> Like, that's why I said it's all but confirmed that it's the world from nine, but they cannot be connected in a linear sense because their own lore dictates it, like contradicts that. Then let's see, let me find a tweet real quick. This tweet made by, uh, she keeps changing her username. <laughs> so it, here's the new town, one of the new towns in uh, version 7. And while it's a little bit... I want you to notice the overbridge, the plaza, the rounded corner into this stairway. Boop. Overbridge into the plaza stairway. <laughs> mm hmm. But yeah, but okay, let's go back to it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> then what you need to keep in mind is whatever the world of DQ9 is is now on or Zaniath, again all but confirmed is recovering from a Daikut attack so when we destroyed them in, t in version 6 we probably saved multiple worlds that are now not getting eaten alive and their power of creation getting sucked out because you've got these crystals everywhere, and Porte obviously is going to be a big role in that. As you can see them making reconstruction camps and frontier stuff as you're attempting to heal the world. How that ends up relating to version four and people of Ticking, not Tickington, uh, Ethene getting sucked away is the next big question. A replica? That'd be a little mundane. <laughs> but it could also not even be Coffin Well, but it's remarkably similar. Timeline connections are maybe, yeah. No, the, but the biggest thing is that it has to be drastically apart in time. Drastically apart. The destroyed towns, if that is Coffin Well, it looks like it's seen. It's actually doing better, <laughs> which hopefully it is, considering. Dead at this point, yeah, would have smacked the shit out of everything in 10. But they, would he? He wouldn't have even been in the same world. That's the point. That whole area in version seven is a different world. You jump through a world portal with Port Bay. That's, I'm assuming, why she's called that. It's a pun. She's a portal. She is freaking Xehanort. But, uh, 
but yes, like in the nine world, he would have probably, but it's just wild that they're that different. So, but that is the thing I am most interested in is how they are connected. Did the world of nine spawn from the same thing that destroyed the cradle in the first place? Or is it just another world like the other games that are connected just out of reach via a literal dimensional barrier? Geek you, lore man. Because <laughs> we know the other games are not completely out of reach. Malrov gets summons uh, during Breaking World and is described as a do god of destruction of another world. Nocturnus from five comes with the old lady from another world invading through dreams. Really is weird. I'm not tapped in. That is weird. <laughs> That's weird. You mean that thing? That name on the guardian statue, Ivor? Of course I mean that name thingy, Hugo. You dolt. I'm sure it said Aquit something before, but now it's Destel. Really? Well, it said Destel for as long as I can remember. And how long is that exactly? Do you remember reading it before? Do you remember the last time you ate breakfast? Or I, uh, that's funny. I, uh, I can't really do say that I do. You see, everyone everyone around here is weird. It's only just changed, and everyone thinks it's been like that forever. <laughs> it must be all the work of the village guardian, then. Don't be such a Wally. Hey, what's wrong with Wallies? There's no such thing as guardians. They're just made up rubbish. It's only Erin who believes in all that nonsense. She's as dumb as... Er, uh, brunette. She has blue hair? Alternates of DQ 1 and 2, with Malroth being a good boy and human. Yeah, and you could take it a step further with uh, Dragon Quest Monsters 3 being an alternate to reality of 4. Talk to Ivor? Where did he go? Oh, I just didn't go down far enough. Aaron's always going on about how everything is thanks to the Guardian. Stupid, if you ask me. If this Guardian really exists, then why doesn't she introduce her uh, to me? I'm right behind you. I am in your walls. Aaron is Aaron. That's... Ivor's so transparent, he's clearly head over heels with that girl. Funnily enough, though, she doesn't seem to have realized it at all. Could be a hard road ahead for poor Ivor. Poor guy. <laughs> I am a child. That Ivor is so full of himself. Just because he's the mayor's son, he thinks he owns the place. Please, Guardian Destel, can you answer my prayers and teach him a lesson? It's not very nice. Take something else happening. All right, he's got updated text. That's all you needed to say. I will check back in a bit. Oh, is it now? You can slap him. <laughs> Teach I for a little lesson. Yeah. Ow! What the? Who did that? Village guardian, I suppose. Oi! Guardian, if you're really there, shouldn't you be helping people, not going around hitting them? You know, just for that, I'm gonna hit you again. Damn it. <laughs> you can talk to the dog. Nestle acquired a keepsake ring. So, somebody dropped that, yes? Jesus, double slap. Bye, dog. That lazy layabout son of the mayor sometimes goes off outside the village on his own. Dangerous, if you ask me. I don't care how many weapons he has, he's still not exactly a formidable foe. Cooper, are you being a troublemaker? There has been no monsters around here lately. It's all peaceful again because Destel has been delivering us from evil. We are greatly blessed. Can I go in the well? Yes, I can. All is right with the world. I can't break the barrels. All is not right with the world. I have been rendered powerless. Holy water. So this isn't a speed run? It is not. No, I am not Zance. 
pick up horse shit. <laughs> that reads, Our Guardian Destal. It doesn't look an awful lot like you, though. Never. <laughs> I do not speedrun RPGs. If I was just a little more sprightly, I'd be able to help Baron out a bit. I'm so frustrated with myself for being too weak to help her. Only my son is still alive. Dang it. I can't interact with the mortal plane unless it's a treasure chest. the puppy compared to the angry old man dog and he just wants attention because I'm the only one home right now hmm? oh what was that I could have sworn somebody was just trying to talk to me yeah still is that you Arden Guardian silly me what am I even saying there's nobody there erin has been working really hard even though her grief at her father's death She's only a young thing, and yet she runs the inn all by herself, and takes care of a, an old man, too. She's an inspiration, that girl. Apparently, there's a ghost haunting the village at the moment. Still, I'm sure it's safe enough in the daytime. Lol. White. You pee off of that in the morning? How dare you. Everyone shares this water, you twit. Why would you do that? Please, Guardian Destro, help to reunite my husband's ring and I. Destro slips the keepsake ring into the old lady's coat pocket. That's funny. My coat suddenly feels a wee bit heavier. Lord Almighty! It's my Bruce's ring! I just don't understand it. I searched high and low for this old thing before I couldn't find it anywhere. Must be Destel's doing. Aren't we lucky to have a guardian who watches over us so well? Thank you. Thank you, Destel. I got a thing. Destel acquires Crystal of Benevolence. your deeds thus far? Imagine being the priest and just watching the words just appear. Eureka! That's it! I'll make chicken stew for dinner! Of course, chicken stew. That's what I want- what it was I wanted to eat. Thank the Almighty that I was able to remember- I don't know if- I don't know if it's something that exciting. <laughs> ah, horseshit. Nay, there was no horseshit. Oh, God. Uh, well, I suppose I'd better get the stable cleaned out. A bit sharpish. Oh, I'm ever so sleepy, though. My body feels like it's made of lead. <laughs> oh, 
whatever that noise was. <laughs> Luckily, my hands are corporeal. We write, eat chicken stew in the adventure log? Yes, that's, that's what we'll go with. Ah, no, I can't believe I fell asleep again. What, what's that? How come it's so clean? I'd only just started to tidy up when I dozed off. That's bullshit. Where did I go? Well, I guess it's horseshit, actually. Oh, well, that must be it. The Guardian's been helping me while I've been asleep. <laughs> I'm a lazy shit, it would seem. Thank you, Destro. I'll work harder from now on. I promise I'll have another horse in no time. You'll see. I just realized I forgot to push the background recording button, so I get to save this entire archive and then trim it manually. God damn it. <laughs> up those piles of copies of DQ9. Oh, an attack directly at Zance. Ripperoni, yeah. Because I plan on archiving the entire nine playthrough. Oh, I thought we were getting a cutscene. All it is is change of daytime. Dog says, mm. I'm in your balls. What does Ivor think he's doing out and about at this hour? He really is an inconsiderate little tyke. I'll have to have words with him when he gets home. Sloppy! <laughs> Cartoon. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> oh, wait, no, the exclamation mark's on the wrong side for that one to be a command anyway. <laughs> In. Day of serving customers with no hap mishaps. And thank you for always watching over me, Destil Guardian of Angel Falls. Let me in. There's a bookshelf. I need the bookshelf. I don't often stay here, but I must say the service is always faultless. I'm sure it would be roaring success if it was a bit bigger and in a more popular destination. Let's go find what's his bucket. Oh. Hello, Aquila. You're taking your new role very seriously. I'm glad to see, Destin. What is it? You feel like your old ma you uh you feel that your old master does not trust you to work alone. It is my duty now to patrol the entire protectorate. Though you guard it well, I must sometimes revisit my old territory. As I am here, Destel, there is one last lesson I must teach you. As guardians. It is our duty to tend to our mortal flock, but this means more than merely watching over the living. Sometimes we must help those who have passed away, but those souls continue to roam the land. You hear it, do you not? The voice of a wandering soul here in the village in need of your assistance? He's right behind me, isn't he? I'm see to work alone, well. Also, I've been thinking about Heroes 1 and 2 lore. And with Heroes 2, especially about the Twin Kings watching each other's worlds, and I was, worlds, and I was hoping hopping between each other's worlds, I wonder if that world's Celestrians gifted them the ability to travel between worlds. Four factors fallen from the dark side made war with his brother. I need to finish that. <laughs> He's one and two, Kronos. <laughs> <laughs> No, I am not speedrunning East 1 and 2 at 165 hertz. <laughs> Part of Guardian's duty to shepherd not only the living, but I already said this. Does the sound not reach your ears? Just insert Scooby-Doo sounds. Very 
sorry for the mild spoiler. That's okay, I'll get to it eventually. What's wrong with people around here nowadays? Why is everyone giving me the cold shoulder? Eh? Oh, somebody who's prepared to give me the time of day at last. Listen here, can you tell me how to come to everyone's ignoring me? Hang on a minute. What with that get up? You, you ain't, uh, oh. Oh my days you are. You're a Celestrian, ain't ya? So I've, I'm already, I've breathed me last, is it? Go on, you can tell me. I can take it. That's what's happening, isn't it? Yup. Cheers for being straight with me, miss. Er, Celestrian. So basically, I've kicked the bucket, right? Well, it's a good thing you told me. When I thought everyone was just ignoring me, I was about ready to do myself in anyway, dark. But now I know what's what. I can just get on with it and, well, you know, rest in peace and all that. You probably lived in the house with a giant hole in it and drowned. That's my theory. Nestle acquired a crystal of benevolence. Why we don't put holes in the floor, Bruce? You've done well, Destel. Wrong voice. Thanks to your intervention, a mortal soul has made its peace and is now at rest. The benevolence of a departed soul shines more brilliantly than any. You'll be returning to the observatory with it post haste, no doubt. Yes. And I shall bid you farewell for now. I have much to do here on the protector. Hmm? Train time? Train time. Outside of town. Ah. Uh, Starflight Express. Indeed, it has been unusually active as of late. I've changed my mind. I shall accompany you to the observatory after all, Dustin. People die when they are killed. <laughs> Keeper, he mentions it. Ah, uh, essence. Oh, am I not reading that correctly? I'm just gonna keep calling it benevolent. Benevolent essence. Hey, oh, Mr. Command Omen Sky. Hello. <laughs> I have important matters to discuss with Apis Major. Please excuse me. So, yes, to clear. Found something kind of creepy. Did you now? You're always finding things. What did you find now? Do I want to know? Is this your second playthrough of nine? Yes. After a decade. <laughs> People in chat type paranoia.com. I'm not clicking on that. Sounds uncreepy. <laughs> Green comes nine and ten. So we actually don't know what the Starlight Express in ten can do because there is another model of the Starflight Express in ten, and it is actually quite different than the one we see in nine. Not to be mistaken with the Ark of the Earth, which is not the same train. It is physically very different from the Ark of the Earth. And even the one that is labeled, or then the Starlight Express, and even the one that is labeled the Starflight Express is quite different. I've beaten it like four times, Ayo. Holy shit, it redirects? It redirects what? You know what's creepier? What does it redirect you from? Let's see. Hold on, I'm gonna pull that up too, because I have a tweet that talks about that one. Where was that? That was a few months ago, actually. Right here. We want this one, actually. So, the Starflight Express in Dragon Quest X versus the Starflight Express in Dragon Quest IX is actually quite different. In IX, 
you can see the uh, the gearbox or whatever it's called. I, I looked up all the terminology for this and now I don't remember any of it. Is at the front, whereas in 10, it's actually in the back. It has less wheels, or was it more? Either way, it's they are very, very different trains. They are not actually the same. And the Starflight, the Ark of the Earth, while being involved in several supernatural things, is primarily a continental railway with the ability to semi-time travel within preset locations. Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Great to be able to time travel. Yeah, I mean, it's still definitely not normal, but they are distinctly different trains. Also have a name? Uh, I don't know. I didn't play Treasures, actually. Almighty Yggdrasil finally bore fruit. Are the figs here at last? Also fly, according to the anniversary last line. Dude, that scene is so cool. And even then, that whole section where you talk to the timekeeper, not only is that a fantastic Chrono Trigger reference, it also alludes to stuff with Nine, despite it not being the same train. Uh, plans fell through and just made it a redirect. Yeah, I mean, 9 and 10 were originally planned to be connected, and then things fell through with the director change, and now there are some things that are just going to be inconsistent as they clean up the pieces and do it a different way. <laughs> oh, this is the cutscene I've been waiting for. This one with the tool screens is really cool. Well met, Destel. Truly, you have chosen a fruitless moment to join us. Moments before disaster, yeah. <laughs> Behold Yggdrasil. She's ready to burst into bloom with all the benevolence we have offered unto her. I was talking Disney. Oh, okay. Oh, ho, ho. She, shot. she is but a hair's breath away from bearing fruit. Fig Bloom hails the opening of the heavenly gates and sets the Celestrians on the path to salvation. And lo, it shall be in the Celestrian's carriage that we, the Chosen, the Chosen Custodians, journey unto the realm of the Almighty. It's time, Destel. Offer the benevolence you have gathered unto the mighty Igrasil. Do so, and she will surely bear fruit at long last. We have some special in mind. Uh, it is a normal playthrough, but from the context of somebody who knows a shit ton about Dragon Quest X lore, especially as Dragon Quest X gears up to all but connect to Dragon Quest IX, so it's both a refresher from me where I can make comparisons back and forth. The sacred figs bloom. And the Celestrian chariot appears. Grace be! All as is foretold! that part. Oh, I genuinely love this shot. And the, uh... My camera's not turning off. My hotkey doesn't work! <laughs> oh, what is this? Were we... deceived? Yeah, the first person tracking shot as you fall is so cool. And 
then the music. Have you heard of the Symphonic Suit version of this? Because it's so good. Quest 9, Sentinels of the Starry Skies. 